Hey folks, Tony Winston here for Jazz Piano College. Um, I'm going to start dividing up my videos into the little performance section and the uh, tutorial section. All right, so this is the tutorial section. And at the end of this video, you'll see a link, and it'll probably be down there in the description as well, to my performance of this song. And it's not an elaborate performance. It's just a simple performance showing the chords, maybe some improvisational ideas or something. Um, but I'm just doing that so I can you know, protect my revenue stream uh, here on YouTube because, you know, if I do a good performance of a song, it gets hit with a copyright more times than not. So, um, so anyway, uh, the song today is Who Are You Screwing the Rest of Your Life? And it is written by, oh, I knew this, Michelle Legrand. And uh, let's take the uh, opening melody here. And, you know, the chord there is just A minor. Now you could play just A minor with, and you could call that A minor ninth, but without the seventh, it really isn't an A minor ninth. It's just more like an A minor with the add of a melody note, like the second degree of the scale. So you're, you're going from the root to the major seventh to the minor seventh and then to the sixth. And if you start with the seventh, you're not gonna get, quite get that root movement. You know, it's a little more interesting this way. Okay, so we covered those chords very simply just by playing A minor, the melody's up here on top, and then the major seventh. It's a, called a minor major seventh chord because it is still a minor chord. And then there's our minor seventh and our minor sixth. Don't confuse that with the minor sixth interval, which is this. It's a minor chord with a sixth, and that sixth comes from the major scale. And once again, we have the ninth, but this time it says major seventh, so let's do that. And then E minor seventh. That's so interesting. The melody has turned out to be the ninth on every one of these chords. A minor, F major, and D minor. And you don't have to change much to get to that B minor seven flat five. You know, the chord is actually this. But the melody note is up here getting pretty low here, so I want to be careful. You know, I don't want to play too thick of a chord down here. Rest. And what scale is that? It's the A harmonic minor scale, okay, from classical theory. And you know, if you're improvising on this song, the six there so minor melodic ascending just has the F sharp instead of the F is a good scale to use at that point all right here I'm using Lydian mode general rule is if you've got a major seventh chord but it's not like in the key of the song like this song is not in F major F major so um, so I would use Lydian mode instead of the F major scale just sharp the four and everything will be beautiful now here on E minor you know we're there for a short period of time just stay on the same scale you can call it E Phrygian, it is, but uh, you don't even need to think that way. And you don't need to think that this is Dorian mode either. You're just, you know, making a beautiful melody on D minor. Same with this one. You know, that is uh, Locrian mode. <laughs> All right, I've got videos about the modes if you don't know what, I, what the hell I'm talking about. You know, a mode is simply a major scale. Well, you can have modes in other scales too, but you take a major scale and just start on a different note. Like, that's a C major scale starting on D, so we call it Dorian mode, Phrygian mode, uh, Lydian mode, and so forth. Now here, you know, we see, if, we, if we've got the chord right, we've got an F sharp in here. 
And you know, if you're looking for the scale, just find the notes that sound right. See, C sharp is good. So I don't even really know what scale that is. I mean, I do, but in terms of like an E suspended chord, and by the way, B minor seventh, you know, it really is an E suspended chord. You've got E, sus four, the five, the seven, the nine, and I always think of these as just like, you know, you take the E major triad, move it down to a D, and you've got the basic thing you need there. All right, keep moving it down. Add the melody note, and there you are. And this is just, uh, would be E mixolydian. And that's an A major scale, starting on the five. Of course, you can start anywhere uh, because you're improvising. One thing you want to do when you're improvising is, is, I mean, if, if you want to sound like Bill Evans, don't get away from the melody. Oh, keep going back to the melody. See, that's the ninth. I probably should have gone to A major there because I should have been taking the second ending. So let me play it one more time, improvising. I simplified the chords. the bridge now and uh, goes to A major you know so there's so many good songs that just change from major to minor or minor to major you know in the same key um, the Moonlight Sonata uh, Penny Lane by the Beatles I'm Still Standing by uh, Elton John and this song all right now the bridge gets kind of adventurous here we start off with what sounds like a minor 2-5-1 because you got the minor 7 flat 5 but you know it's just a, it's not an altered e it's just a regular e e uh, dominant with some unaltered intervals and then we get into a major again all right now how many people are comfortable improvising in the key of a major you know it, just spend some time in it and uh, lately I've been practicing a lot of songs in the key of E I just run through about 10 or 15 songs and I play every one of them in the key of E and lo and behold I get comfortable in that key A major is next on my list and you know I mean I'm pretty comfortable in it and then what do we do we go down a half step and we've got this uh, let's let's do the melody here a minor, 7th, and that's the 11th, so a good voicing might be this, and then, and here we have ended in F. You know, I tried the Lydian mode, but, you know, it sounds like you're in the key of F right there. So, you know, the regular F major scale sounds pretty good in that instance. Yeah, so it's not like the whole song has to be in F, but if you, you know, arrive on a 2-5-1 to F, temporarily you're in the key of F, so why not use the uh, regular scale? Okay, then we go back through the song again, and we've got the coda... Nice change here. I'd use the whole tone scale there if I was improvising. Yeah, I don't know about that chord. Maybe. Yeah, that's. 
that sounds better. Okay, so that's the tutorial, such that it is. And uh, now I'm going to play the song and I'm going to put it in another video because Michelle Legrand wants his money.